Welcome back, family and friends. We are not going to let you down today. We are going to finish this bow for my wife. She's going to shoot it, and we are going to have lots of fun doing it. So let's do this. Burn this up. Here in a little bit, I'm gonna take you guys out to shoot this bow. And we're gonna go somewhere really special. My new house. So if you stick with me, I'll get to show you that after I'm done sanding and finishing. But I shot this bow a couple times actually. Maybe more than a few times. You don't believe me? Here, take a look. Told you. We're gonna start off with some 60 grit. And we're not gonna, we're gonna try not to drop it. Whenever you're sanding, you always wanna go with the grain. You don't wanna go against the grain. If your tiller's good, you wanna sand the bow evenly so that you don't mess it up as you're getting it smooth. So what you wanna do is go all the way down to the limb tip and all the way back. And it's a good idea to count. So you can do that 15 times down and back and then switch to the other limb 15 times down and back. I find that with 60 grit, that's all you need to do unless you're using a really deep rasp made big gouges. But I've been using a scraper and a knife. So now, gonna move on up in sandpaper. You're gonna move incrementally in sandpaper to as high as you want to go. It's functional, and I mean it's functional, so you can just use it as is. But it's nice to have a smooth bow. Now that I got the sanding done, I want to show you guys this little arrow rest here. What I did is I drilled a hole out and I put a dowel in. And I drilled the hole very, very shallow so it wouldn't affect the bow here. I did that because I like to shoot with an arrow rest more than like a self bow just on, the, just on your hand. I find it more accurate for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape that up and make that look nice. So come over here and check it out. It's okay, you can come. It's just right over here. All right, now that that's cleaned up, it's looking classy. Now that this bow is nice and beautiful, we're gonna put our super secret potion onto this bow. And it starts to bring out the orange. Now, if you're new to Osage orange, when it's freshly cut and stuff, it's more yellow like this. But over time, see that handle there? It turns nice and orange and that's well, I don't know if that's why I got the name Osage Orange, but I think that's why people call it that. Or Osage Orange. My super secret potion is really just boiled linseed oil and beeswax. I think it's best to do like two parts boiled to one part beeswax. And I think that gives you the best results. And I've got a heat gun here also. You may be wondering, Kramer, why do you have a heat gun? Well, there's a lot of scratches on the back of this bow. And if I go ahead and heat it up, it's just that beeswax. And so it's gonna soak into the wood a lot better if you heat it up. So you can heat it up with your hands as you rub it in, but you'll wanna apply it multiple times. And uh, I think it helps soak in if I just run some heat over the bow real quick. You could do this with a blow dryer or anything really. It's so fun every time you get to put a finish on a bow. Shall I say, just look at that beauty. Just look at that. You can see that handle there, glimmering in the lights. I find that this boiled in seed oil wax finish is like a real natural finish. I kind of like it. It's not like spray on poly because it soaks into the wood. Now there will be a little wax sitting on top of the wood that can get scratched, but you can just heat it up and rub, or just rub your hand on it, whatever it is, and get the 
wax to soak back in and it protects the wood really well. I've had boiled linseed oil and wax on bows for about four years now and I haven't had any trouble with it. It protects the wood just as well as poly does I believe. I've had the wood out in freezing temperatures with this finish on it and I've had it out and hot temperatures. I've had it in all weather and it does great. I've had it in the rain and in the snow. So you're set with this finish. You can also do a spray on poly if you want that sheen, that shine. This will become dull once the linseed oil soaks into the wood and the wax dries. Do what you like. I kind of like this one. Let's get the air rest on it and then we can go to the house and we can have Callie shoot this and we can see if she likes it. I like to use just a really small piece of felt that you'd get from any craft store. But what you can also use is like, even like a moleskin that you can find in like the medical aisles at any, any store that would carry medical stuff. And then if you get that, you don't have to glue anything on, but it's not too difficult to do one dab of super glue. And then you can slide your piece of felt on. I like to keep it a thin piece of felt so that there's not contact with the arrow all the way back here or up there. The arrows tend to fly better that way. And that is gonna be it for now in the shop, so let's go over to the house and shoot this. Hey guys, we made it to the house. Callie's got a little bit of work to finish up before we shoot bows, but in the meantime, I wanna show you something real quick. Walk over here to the front, and what you can look at is that there is a sold sign. So we have got this house now and check this out. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm actually going to be working on this house. This is my job. I fix up houses and so super excited for it. But the backyard here, we have got this awesome deck that we can shoot our bows off of and I'm really excited to be able to shoot my bow off the deck. Right. Let me show you down here. It's really cool. You see this area here? Like I'm going to be able to shoot like down this hill it's like I'm in the mountains and I'm just really pumped for it so I'm gonna show you inside here before we go back and get Cali check this out and yes I got a little eager I started ripping out walls but hey it's kind of fun Let's uh, come outside and get Kelly real quick. You about ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's roll. Thank you guys for joining us today. I'm really excited that we've been able to get this house and I'm going to show you some videos. I might do some bow building right here on this deck. But anyway, I really do appreciate it. We're getting up to 50 subscribers now and I really appreciate every single one of you individuals who has subscribed. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're not yet, you can consider that. And I would like to remind you guys to go create a wonderful day.